Look how adorable this shirt is. I got it from H&M. And if you're a Yoda fan, baby Yoda, Star Wars fan, you should totally pick one up. Killer price. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nisa. Everything complexion you can find here. So if that intrigues you at all, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I do uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have been seeing this kind of going around with but with different things. Ranking products from my most favorite, to least favorite. I've seen people do this with eyeshadow palettes, with bronzers, and today I thought I would do my concealers. I would like to think I really don't have a lot of concealers but I do have seven concealers. In the comments down below, tell me the number of concealers you have. Oh, and I just ordered the new Tarte concealer. It's supposed to be here on Friday because I really wanted to try that out for you guys, but I bought the mini version. I've really been working on going through my makeup. I want to use my makeup. It's crazy how long these products last. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Which one do you guys think will be Wait, should I do favorite first or should I do least favorite? Let's do favorite first. Let's just keep this positive. So my most used, what I gravitate toward and what I truly enjoy is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Now it even says on it, it's more than a concealer. If I do not say so myself, is a direct dupe, the Tarte Shape Tape. Very similar formula. This is a full coverage concealer. It doesn't crease. There's a million, there's 25 different shades. So I would highly recommend if you are looking for a really, like you need a cream contour, I would pick a shade up in a darker tone than yours and you could just make, I mean, you would have the most beautiful cream bronzer this summer. I just, what I love about this is first off, it comes with a lot of product, at least it seems like it does. And the doe foot applicator is big, just like the Tarte Shape Tape. But the formula in itself really is what has impressed me. So I personally like, a full coverage concealer to use underneath my eyes. I do feel like, you know, the older I get, the more children I have, you know, I'm 30 years old now. I need a full coverage concealer. This is full coverage. It's really easy to blend out and it just seems to really brighten underneath my eye as well as be really long lasting. It doesn't lift or crease during the day. $13.49 on Ulta. Um, on Amazon, you can get it for about $10. Walmart, you can get it for about $10 or $11. So it's still a little bit up there, but I think it's definitely worth the price and it's definitely one of the, I mean, there's just so many reasons why I just gravitate toward this. My shade is Cashmere. I am a medium skin tone with a neutral undertone. My next most used concealer is a Tarte Shape Tape. I think everybody has used this, everybody loves it. I think we can just leave it as that at that. It's a full coverage concealer, really easy to blend out. One of these will last forever. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it anymore. It's still one of those that you can't ever forget. You always had to have backups of these. I did purchase this in a darker shade so I could do a cream contour this summer. I mean, it has almost 12,000 almost five star reviews. So that's pretty good. But you have to like full coverage. The shade range is amazing. It's n better than the L'Oreal. It's 30 different shades. Only thing about this is it's expensive. It's $27 and that, you know, is a lot of money to spend on a concealer. But what I will say is after I've used this so many times with different makeup looks and a lot of the times if a foundation fails me, this Tarte Shape Tape will still be there holding the fort down making sure that my makeup isn't completely going crazy. And so I really appreciate it for that. This next concealer, it's a newer one to my collection, but I don't have anything like it. An Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Now, when this first came out, I was in Disneyland with my husband. They have a Sephora right there. Went inside and I didn't have it. Oh, I ended up not buying it and I'm glad I waited because the Sephora sale, I was able to get a discount on this because this, this price is steep for a concealer, it's $34. Hourglass, of course, is a higher end, I consider it a luxury makeup brand. It's a more expensive concealer. I was hesitant to buy this, but I'll tell you what, I'm so glad I did. I got it in the shade Fawn. At the time, they were out of my shade that I think I would have liked, which is Sapia. This shade works great for me. First of all, some of the unique features of this, the doe foot applicator. Can you see that? It's, it's shaped like a bow and arrow and it's so soft. I feel like some of these applicators can be so stiff. This one is so soft. It's like little angel wings dusting your face with concealer. This feels personally like a gel concealer. I don't have anything like it. It blends out like a dream. It's 
not full full coverage but it's between medium and full coverage you just have to try it out because the formula of this is so unique some of the technology behind this is so interesting it's waterproof and it has micro spherical powders that blur and brighten for up to 16 hours of skin perfection now it does say the coverage is full it's a natural finish so happy i did buy this i have nothing like it, this in my collection if you're looking to splurge i would definitely splurge on something like okay, this. okay so now we're getting a little bit lower in the rings and so we have the l'oreal tar we have the hourglass now we're getting to a couple milani has this conceal and perfect concealer this is actually empty i completely used it all milani cosmetics is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands there's just so many products that they have that blow me out of the water and their concealer is one of them so this has hyaluronic acid in it and it also has shea butter i was on the fence about this the first couple times i used it i was like eh, i don't know about this but then i just kept using it i grew to really enjoy it and really love it and that's why it's an empty i completely used it up will i be buying another one of these probably not right now if i were to forget something and i needed to stop by and pick a concealer up i would buy it again but like I said, I'm trying to go through the products that I have. I mean, you can't beat the price. I believe it's it's only $8.99 and it comes in, gosh, they have 18 different shade options. That's insane. This blends out so beautifully. It's really good coverage. I feel like I felt like it was full coverage but it was a very thin layer. It didn't feel heavy and it didn't crease. For me, I have sensitive eyes and so my eyes, I'm always like doing something with them throughout the day and so I know pretty early on if a concealer is going to work or if it's not and this one definitely held its own. The next product is this Revlon Candid Concealer and I got this in the shade Light Medium. Now, I have both of these foundations and one of them I really like, the other one I'm still on the fence on, and this product I'm still on the fence on. I did buy it, I was influenced by Tati Glam Life Guru, which, you know, I love her channel, she's amazing. But she was like, this is an amazing concealer and so I picked it up and I'm still working it out, trying to figure it out. I used it today, which it does look really beautiful today, does it not? I feel like the packaging is so innovative, like how many concealers? come in like these little tubes like this. They blended out really beautifully. The application went really well. I think my biggest thing with this is I just don't know if it has the staying power as my other concealers. This one does claim that it's great for sensitive skin, camouflages under eye puffiness. They have all this like technology with this anti-blue light, but for me, I just don't know yet. I'm still going to keep using it. It's, it's right there in the middle of my concealer. For me, it is a little expensive, it's $9.99. I mean, for me, anything over like nine or eight dollars at the drugstore, I'm like, I'm gonna keep trying it because, you know, I did, the, the foundation did grow on me quite a bit. It's almost gone. Let's get into the products that I, you know, I don't, I'm not necessarily crazy about. Now, the second, so we're almost done, I only have two more products. This is the Benefit Boing Concealer. I did a review on this if you wanna see it. This concealer, I'm not quite sure. It says cakeless, but I did feel like it was heavy on underneath my eyes, and I did feel like it did crease throughout the day. I didn't feel like it was super long lasting as well. It's one after I did that video, I haven't really used it again. I've been a little afraid to. To me, for a high end concealer, it's not too bad. It's twenty two dollars. I'm going to keep giving it another chance. I did buy the full size version, so I'm gonna try it a couple more times, kind of let you guys know what I think. So this one I just kind of, you know, after I used it, didn't necessarily, wasn't crazy about it, I just forgot about it. The last concealer on my list and one that I will never use unless, I just will never use it again. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. It's hard for me to say that because I know so many people. It's so funny, I watch concealer videos and people are like, this is the best concealer I've ever used. And for me, it just does not work. The formula is so... So it's just so liquidy. When you look at it, I thought for sure this was going to be a shape tape dupe, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Because, I mean, it's like almost identical. I mean, the packaging literally is identical. Thick, thick wand, thick applicator. I've, I've tried this so many times to make it work with different setting powders. It applies really thin. To me, it is a lightweight concealer. So if you're looking for something 
really lightweight and you're not too worried about creasing, you might like this, but for me, it creases throughout the day. If I have any want or hope to have a really good makeup day, I stay far away from this concealer. Hopefully that's not me being too dramatic, but that is a rundown of my concealers. Makeup really is so personal, so if you like some of the concealers that I don't like, it's honestly, everything is so personal. Foundation, everything. It's like what you're looking for in a product, I mean, it's different from everybody. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.